biggest things that I've learned uh, in business in general, and of course it applies to marketing, which is a lot of what I teach, um, is this whole concept of uh, the 80-20 principle. What's everybody knows that, but on a whole new level, it's the concept of not being, not being such a perfectionist uh, in what I'm trying to do. Because basically, when you're in the business of trying to generate leads, all right, leads for your business, trying to actually uh, get people in front of you in order to make money, um, you need to be able to produce content, all right? You need to be able to run ads. Uh, you need to be able to reach people. And a lot of the reason a lot of you hate what you're doing if you're in business uh, and you hate this idea of trying to go out and get leads or generate leads, um, there's a lot of reasons actually, but, but the primary reason is you're trying to be too much of a perfectionist. So with this video in particular, what I'm doing is freaking simple. Um, I, all I'm doing is pushing play, all right, on my smartphone, and I'm talking. I'm not trying to edit anything. Um, I'm not trying to uh, go back and change lighting. I realize it's not a perfect video, uh, but it's good enough. And one of the biggest things I've learned from having a YouTube channel, uh, for those who don't know, uh, my name is Jason Clemens, uh, and I got my start in the fitness niche. Um, and I built a YouTube channel, uh, well over a million views. Um, some of my videos have over 300,000 views. And one of the biggest things I've learned about what people like and what they don't like is people tend to like stuff that's unedited, all right? Stuff that's natural. So if you're trying to YouTube market, I um, mean, you have a video that's edited and looks very, quote, corporate. It's total bullshit, guys. Um, people don't really respond to the corporate feel anymore, especially nowadays when everybody's skeptical. All right, so I see a lot of people trying to make corporate-style videos and corporate-style websites and trying to be per perfectionists about everything and censor their speech, all right? Um, not necessarily advocating swearing, but they're just not themselves, all right? So I might swear in videos, but that's that's who I am. I don't make a habit of it. Um, and quite frankly, it might turn somebody up, people off, but being authentic and not trying to be perfectionist has worked exceptionally well for me. Um, so if you're struggling, all right, if you're struggling in trying to actually get traffic from your videos, uh, one of the biggest things you can do is just to start to make more videos and don't edit anything, all right? Get on the camera, talk, and upload it. Give it a killer freaking headline and be real with what you're actually saying. What you're gonna find is, all right, some people are gonna like anything you do regardless of what you do, all right? Some people are gonna give a shit and you're gonna find a segment of that population who actually um, responds to what you say. All right, actually gets you, um, and they're like you, and that's who you should be trying to market to anyways. Um, you shouldn't be trying to persuade anybody. You should be, be trying to attract the people who, who are into what you're giving, what you're offering, and who like you, quite frankly. Um, biggest lesson I've learned, don't be perfectionist. It applies to everything, all right? And your ad running, um, if you got something that's working, all right, and it's working great, don't change it. Leave it. Keep going. Keep the cash flowing. Keep getting the leads. I've seen a lot of people split test themselves right out of profits. All right, trying to split test a ton of different lead, a ton of different marketing campaigns and everything instead of just sticking with what works and just doing more of it. Um, you know, same thing goes with video creation. We talked about that. Writing articles goes with everything. Don't be a freaking perfectionist in what you do. All right, make it. If it's good enough, if it's 80%, put it out there. See the response. It's one of the greatest lessons that I've actually learned, and not only in marketing, but in business. And it's what separates me from today from uh, what I was when I first got my start, when I was going insane. All right, guys, so if you like the video, share it with somebody. All right, copy the, the YouTube URL up there, send it out in an email, post it on your Facebook. Um, like this video below if you found it useful. Um, again, I'm Jason Clemens. You can check out my website. Um, we sort of just got this going here. Uh, it is jasonclemens.media, jasonclemens.media. Um, 
You can check it out there. There's going to be a lot of other free content there. I'm already starting to get some there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I do my best to answer as quickly as possible. Um, and for crying out loud, stop being a perfectionist. Make it good enough. Get it out there and build some momentum. So until next time, have yourselves a great day, guys.